guys, welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. If you're new to my channel, 31 Days of Halloween is where I post a new Halloween costume makeup tutorial every single day in October. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. Today is day 24. Okay, but it's, instead of 31 days of Halloween, it's like 30 because I missed yesterday. Because I was having some major difficulties in every aspect of my life, but I promise you Wednesday's video will make up for it and it will explain why. Today is this horror tooth fairy. I had the idea for this a few months back and what I saw in my head and what it looks like in real life look quite different. But to see how I achieved this super simple beginner gory horror look, stay tuned. I started off by applying liquid latex all over my face in the area Areas that I wanted to stick the teeth down. I let the liquid latex dry a little bit and then as you see I just sort of rubbed my finger over the top of it to create these little openings and holes. Then I dabbed some prose adhesive into them and then add these little teeth in. These are resin teeth that I actually got from Amazon. I will link them in the description of this video but they're so cool. They literally look exactly like real human teeth which is so disgusting. I applied them all over my face, around my eye, all over my face and at this point I was looking at this like Wow, this looks so cool. I'm just like really happy with it. It's just like, it doesn't just look like I have teeth glued over my face or anything. But everything can be salvaged with big blood. So we're going to be adding a lot of that later. The whole idea of this was to be a tooth fairy that takes children's teeth and embeds them into her own face. Don't ask me why. Why does she do it? Because she's a crazy bitch, that's why. And so there's really no explanation other than... The idea didn't quite pan out how I thought it would, but just roll with me if you like the look of it. You know, gore is always good, regardless of whether or not it makes sense. It's just kind of fun. And I haven't done any super gory looks this Halloween, so not that this one really is. It's just teeth on my face. Anyway, then taking some fake blood, I do aged blood, which is what I'm doing now, which is why it's kind of a brownie color. And then I also take some red liquid blood. Let's, let's be honest. I don't take some. I take a lot. And I put it literally around every tooth because, again, I was like, what? So I let it drip all down, I let it drip around the teeth, and then I pat it all over, and then I'm going to stipple it all over my face as well. They make these little sponges that are sort of like a wiry texture, and they sell them at most Halloween party stores, and these are great for making a blood spray effect on the skin. Just sort of stipple a little bit over, down my neck, up my forehead. A lot of times I will apply the blood and then tap it out with my finger because I like the way that it looks when it's really dark in some areas and light in another. It's all up to interpretation. It's very simple. I mean, it's fake blood. It doesn't take much explanation. Then I took some cream paints. You don't really need to do this step, but I just, I just did. And I took the colors yellow and a little bit of green and mixed them together just to give some of the teeth a different yellowing color. If all the teeth are the same color, that's not how human teeth would really be. Especially kid teeth, because all they eat is ice cream and Oreos and chicken nuggets. They'd be a little yellow in spots. I also took that yellow around some parts of my face and then took some eyeshadows. And for this, I'm using like a maroony color, a brown, and I'm just stippling it all over my skin. I like to do this sometimes. It just adds a different texture and it just makes it look, instead of like fresh, nice skin everywhere, just sort of like almost have some lividity to the skin. Then I took these, <laughs> these are actually canning wires, so when people like can peaches and stuff, and I just sort of bent them and stuck them behind my ears and then I taped them to the sides of my face. The idea, again, going into this was to be like some sort of dental device. Did, did it pan out? I don't really know, honestly. It looks creepy nonetheless, especially when I put some fake blood on it. You'll see me do that in a moment. I run some fake blood through my hair. And then I also put it onto the little wires because they wouldn't be perfectly clean if our face was also covered in blood. And what's really nice is that when you're working on 31 Halloween videos and you have no time to ever wash your hair or take a shower, uh, you literally don't need to do anything with your hair because it just looks like this naturally. It's really fun. I love it. This is just me now, so get used to it. Then I took some water activated body paint and put it inside of a little spray bottle. I use blacks and reds. And then I spray that all over to give a really dirty, bloody texture to my skin. Popped in some white out contacts and that is it my friends. That's it for this horror tooth fairy. I hope you guys like it. It's definitely interesting. Make sure to tune in tomorrow and every single day this October for more Halloween costume makeup looks. This week there's going to be some cool ones coming out. We're nearing the end of the month. I can't believe it. So stay tuned because this week is the one that all my big videos come out. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified when the videos go live, which is at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you guys do decide to recreate this look or any of my looks, make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see your stuff. Especially on Halloween, I want to see all the stuff you guys dress up as. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you at my next video. Uh, my tooth fairy came out very stupid, so I'm just covering it in blood and hoping that I can salvage it with contacts and wire because it looks like popcorn. It just, instead of looking like teeth coming out of my face, they just look like popcorn coming out of my face. <laughs> wow, Christy, this is like so revolutionary.